Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to address for comfort women issue. The Japanese delegation addressed at the 63rd UN Seto last month mainly indicated three points to their committee. One, they could not find any evidence that the Japanese authorities forced Korean women into the sexual slavery after a full-scale investigation. Two, the figure of 200,000 women, which has been widely reported, has no concrete evidence. The term sex slave is contrary to the fact. There is a ma uh, major instigator in Korea that keep bringing this issue up. The organization is called John Day Hyop, meaning Alliance for the uh, Countermeasure of Volunteer Works Corps issue in Korean language, which has nothing to do with the uh, comfort woman issue, even from its name. However, the organization in uh, intentionally misleads the public outside of Korea by uh, incorrectly translating its name as the Korean Council for the Women drafted for military sexual slavery by Japan, Japan in English. They have been dragging former comfort women to the several places including Europe, the USA and Japan to testify what the organization has trained them to say. Uh, the testimonies have been changed several times and the storyline is getting more pathetic each time. Recently, two former comfort women testified in Japan. One of them said Japan made Korea a sea of frames. There, there was no need for Japan to raise their own soil. The testi uh, they testified to what they have not experienced because of their organization. In 1986, U.S. special reporter Ms. Kumara Sumami made a report on this issue, which was based on their fabricated stories and testimonies. She is deceived by those who wanted to turn this in, uh, issue into money and bash Japan. Since the grounds of their argument in their uh, report has been disproved, we request the U, uh, UN uh, Human Rights Council to conduct a further investigation and the report, the report for uh, submit a new report based on the fact. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much for your President. statement. I now call on.